Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is part 5 in the series of the Savage model FCP-K chambered in 308. Uh, I encourage you to look at my playlist for the 308 to get caught up on the configuration and what I've done previously till now. I contacted the ballisticians at both Sierra and Hornaday and both of them told me that the the sweet spot for the 308 is the 165 to 168 grain bullets. So that's what it, the loads that I'm working up today. This is a Sierra Game King 165 grain. It's a good hunting bullet. It has been effective uh, for me in other calibers, so I'll give it a try as far as accuracy and speed is today. The powder that I'm using for this bullet is Benchmark. Uh, supposed to be a really good powder, so we'll give it a shot. The other type of bullet that I'm using is the uh, Hornaday SST, also chambered in 165 grain. I've had uh, real effective results with this on game as well, but at longer range, at high velocity and close range, I do get jacket separation on these. Uh, it is an effective killer, but uh, if you want through and through in a blood trail, uh, this needs to be at a longer distance or at a lower velocity. So I've got my uh, Magneto speed chronograph on. I'm set up at 100 yards. I've already shot uh, nine rounds and have the data uh, recorded. I'll show you the target at the end. Uh, but here's three shots, the last three shots of the Sierra so that you can see it. Twenty-seven, twenty-seven. That's pretty good. That's what I'm looking for. Primer looks good. Now again, I'm having problems with this uh, magazine. Sometimes it just does not pick up the next round. That was 27.25. Wow. Primer looks good. Twenty-seven thirteen. That was an average of twenty-seven twenty-one. A standard deviation of seven. An extreme spread of fourteen. Now that's kind of co pretty consistent. That's what I'm looking for and I'll show you the target at the end. So, Okay folks, here's the results of the target. Uh, there's an old axiom amongst horsemen. Uh, you know, lie, liars always figure, but figures never lie. So here it is, the uh, Sierra 165 grain on the left with benchmark powder, Hornaday 165 SST with CFE powder. So starting on the left, uh, my very first uh, shots at 40 grains uh, was clear down here, uh, probably one to one and a quarter inches. Uh, I adjusted the scope up. This was a sight around, so dis can discount that. And here's two in one hole, and, uh, but that's still a, a little over an inch group. The average was 2714, 
standard deviation of 10, extreme spread of 19. Moving over to the third group here, uh, 2616 average, uh, standard deviation 21, extreme spread 31, uh, 40.5 grains of powder, and that again is, is over an inch group. Uh, number four here, an average of 2721, standard deviation of 7, extreme spread of 14, 41.5. And that ended up to be the top load and the best group as far as benchmark is concerned. All right, moving over to the Hornaday. Uh, very first group here, about an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters. But look at the velocity on the, on the middle load there of 27.51. But a high standard deviation of 40, extreme spread of 81 at 44.3 grains. Moving up to 44.8 grains. An average of 27.64. The SDs came down 11, uh, extreme spread of 23, uh, and that was probably my flyer, but those two there are pretty good, uh, but still not acceptable. Uh, three, an average of 27.79, so we're really cooking now. SD of 14, extreme spread of 24, 45.3, and that ended up being the best group of the day. That's right at a half an inch. All right, then kicking it up to 45.8, you can see that this really opened up the extreme spread of, of 22, standard deviation of 15, but look at the velocity, 28.97. So what, is a, what can a target tell you? Well, it can tell you basically three things. You either had a lousy day or a good day. Number two is that your load development is off or your components are off. Or number three is that you shouldn't have gone to that birthday party and drank so much last night. Uh, you might be showing the effects this morning. Yeah, I'll take that one as probably what happened today. Uh, but if you like this content, folks, uh, please give a like, a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, share. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, tell me what your experience is with the 308. I'd be glad to hear from you. But no matter what, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.